Hey guys, welcome to Task Tips, episode 4, Gaming Within Constraints. Today's topic will be discussing pretty much the opposite of the previous topic. Last time we talked about knowing yourself and playing games based upon what you yourself are good at. Today we're going to be talking about what you do when you're forced under specific limitations by a specific game or a specific achievement or badge or goal that you're trying to do within that specific game. Oftentimes, playing a certain game, there'll be in-game achievements, or a site like Congregator Newsgrounds will give achievements to a game. Any one of these achievements, for the most part, will have some sort of criteria to it that makes you go above and beyond the normal gameplay of the game, such as beating the game in a specific manner, or such as not using an item, or finding a specific item, something that you wouldn't normally do, but you're then ex rewarded extra for doing that. Now, sometimes this won't be natural as your you know, previous topic, you were comfortable doing something one way, but because of something that you're trying to achieve in the game, you're forced to do something a way that you're not comfortable with. The best advice that I can give you is to work with muscle memory, repetition, and practice. You might not feel comfortable doing something initially, but after you work on it and do it multiple times, you'll become better at it and it'll become second nature to you. It'll become much easier. I highly recommend trying to work with multiple people. That way you're not playing alone. This has a lot of th uh, reasons behind it that it works in your favor. First off, you have someone to talk to or multiple people to talk to. They can encourage you if you get stuck. Also, they might have a suggestion or a tip that could help you beat what you're stuck on if they've already done it. They might have advice, strategy, something. Thirdly, you all could be stuck in the same spot, but collectively bouncing ideas off each other functions like a think tank. Therefore, one of you might come up with an idea that'll turn a light bulb switch on in someone else's head, and one of you will beat it, which will springboard the rest of you and further your progress along in the game. This is where a site like Congregate comes in handy, using the, the chat that they have. Get together with your friends, play in the chat, talk with each other, work together. It's helped incredibly for those of us in the chat room, impossible is nothing. Myself, Rubix, Snapple, Yoda, Rushy, Insane, Zerus, a uh, hundred other guys who I'm not thinking of off the top of my head. We've all worked together many times in many different games to help each other through it. If one of us is stuck, if we're trying to optimize. This is a short topic. Uh, I have a little surprise for you at the end, but lastly I just wanted to say that if you do get stuck and you do get frustrated to the point where you come really mad and you want to start breaking things, take a break. Getting frustrated most of the time will only make your gameplay worse. You may notice that you'll plateau and then all of a sudden things that you were hitting and you were uh, able to accomplish, you're no longer able to do. Take an hour, take two hours, you know, go read a book, see a movie, take a shower, whatever. Do something else, come back to it later. You'll be relaxed, you'll be able to think clearly, you probably will have a little bit of freedom to your gameplay, it'll help you. Now, if you don't do this, I'd like to share with you what will happen. This is a three minute little long montage that I recorded last night, courtesy of Oddgoo's new game, Emburial Axis, which you should all try. This game is incredibly difficult, and my good friend Mr. Rubix was attempting to beat some of the later levels in this and did not heed my advice to stop when you become frustrated. So enjoy the hilarity, and while you do, I'm going to eat a burrito. Oh. <sighs> I'm tired of this level. God damn it! Fuck! Fuck! Careful. Yeah. No. 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 Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Okay. Careful. Yeah. Fuck yeah. No. Fuck no. Fuck. What the fuck is that? No. What the fuck? Oh my god! I hate this game. Why am I even playing it? Oh shit. Oh shit. God damn it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, come on, bounce on that shit. Bounce on that shit. Yeah, like a cock. No! Oh, come on! Oh, great. Come on, bounce out of that shit. No, what the fuck? Oh, I need to take a break. Killing me. 
killing me. Oh my god, no! Fucking damn it! Shit, cocking son of a bitch! Oh, I've had it. I fucking had it with this level. Fuck. This is bullshit, too. Oh, come on! Okay, that was bullshit. That's bullshit, too. What? What the fuck are you supposed to do this level when that thing randomly decides what... <sighs> this is so dumb. This is not a good example of a well-made level. That thing does random shit depending on the alignment up here, and there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about that. That's 100% lock. What? The platform doesn't fucking stop in the middle? What the fuck is this shit? That was no, that's bullshit. This game is bullshit. Seriously. Ugh. Fuck. What the fuck? Ugh. Ugh. Come on, my hand can't take this shit. Oh my god, this level's bullshit. Why is he falling off this fucking sled 90% of the time? Oh, come on! What the fuck was that? Yes! Yeah.